देर आर मेनी मिथ्स मिसकनसेप्शंस मिसबिलीफ मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग कन्फ्यूजन्स एंड कॉन्ट्राडिक्शंस रिगार्डिंग एनोरेक्टल डिसीज स्पेशली पाइल्स पीपल कंसिडर एनी एंड एवरी एलिमेंट एनी डिसऑर्डर ऑफ द टॉयलेट एज पाइल्स दे नेम इट एज पाइल्स सो इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वेदर दे हैव पेन दे हैव ब्लीडिंग दे हैव सम मास प्रोट्रूडिंग आउट देर इज अ पस डिस्चार्ज दे हैव पेन वाइल सिटिंग दे हैव अ पेन वाइल मूवमेंट दे हैव इरेग्युलर बॉवेल मूवमेंट्स दे कंसिडर एवरीथिंग एज पाइल्स और हेमोरॉइड्स बट दिस थिंकिंग इज एब्सोल्यूटली रॉन्ग irrational because the symptoms of a rectal cancer or the cancer of the anal canal are quite identical to what the symptoms of hemorrhoids are so there also you get painless bleeding frequency of stool some mass protruding so if you consider these cancerous lesion as hemorrhoids or piles just because they have similar symptoms and don't consult an appropriate doctor then may you may lead in a trouble so by the time the symptoms become so aggressive the disease becomes so advanced when you actually seek the opinion from an expert doctor uh, it's already late and many a times it becomes difficult to provide you a complete cure so please don't consider any or every element of anal pathologies as hemorrhoids it's better to get checked and once it is confirmed that it is hemorrhoid then you are free to treat yourself as per your wish by different uh, stream of medicines whether it is ayurveda or homeopathy or allopathy whatsoever you feel convenient and comfortable but please get yourself examined that you have the symptoms related to your hemorrhoids and there are no other severe and serious diseases inside many people believe that the anorectal disorders or what they call as piles is a disease of old age elderly and it does not occur in younger age group but that is not correct because there are so many diseases of the anal region which are congenital which are present right from the birth few other anorectal problems could be in a children like they may have fissure causing pain bleeding burning sensation they may have a mass protruding out during passing stool which is called as a rectal polyp they may develop abscess that is a uh, swelling containing pus or it may burst to cause fistula they may have toiletry disturbances in the form of passing very hard very uh, painful stool that to uh, after 2 or 3 days of time so similarly there is one disease called as a pilonidal sinus where there are multiple openings on your back at the lower end which is a disease of youngster mainly the teenagers and almost 95 to 96% of this disease occurs only in teenagers and young adults where it does not appear in the elderly so the belief that this will not happen to young age group it is a disease of elderly is not quite correct so anorectal diseases don't spare any age any sex so they can occur anywhere and everywhere many a times a question is asked if there is any direct relationship with our eating habits with our digestion with our gastrointestinal tract and the anorectal disorders so it is 
absolutely true because your anal canal is the end part the last one of your gastrointestinal tract so any abnormality any disorder any disease of the gastrointestinal tract maybe it it's a stomach maybe your small intestine large intestine all these if they suffer by some or other disease or disorder they can reflect in some or other form of anorectal symptoms so it's always better that if you want to get rid of your anorectal issues you better keep your digestive system in a correct order if your food contains too much of chilies and spices if you don't eat regularly on proper time if you have a disturbed sleep if you are eating hurriedly if you are consuming too much of carbohydrates especially the refined flour which is called as maida or substance made from it like pizza burger or bread etc so these are all constipating substances which get stuck into your digestive system doesn't pass out smoothly and then they th- themselves can be precursor of your anal diseases especially fissure and hemorrhoids so you might have noticed that when you eat too much of chilies or spices next day you feel burning sense of heat irritation and itching at your anal area so your digestion your food habits your dietary constituents they all have a direct relationship with your anal canal and its disorders